I think it's been great that we've seen a lot of dogs coming into all the Zoom meetings and being introduced, but in the same sense, you need to get some work done. So if you're in a more urban area or if it's in a lockdown where you may be not able to go out for long walks, then utilize what you've got inside. So, you know, I have a nice long hallway at my house, so we throw a soft ball down the hallway and they run back and forth. Um, there's other games like tug of war. You know, there's even things you can do like mental training for the dog, which isn't as much exertion of exercise, but if you teach them a few new tricks, that's also great for their mental health at the same time. Make sure they're eating healthy. So I think the biggest thing we've heard from pet parents is everyone wants to give them loads of treats throughout the day now so make sure it's never more than 10% of their daily intake and choose a food that's really healthy for them um, and then think about some games to also keep them busy in the house especially if you're trying to work so if you get them a puzzle ball or long-lasting dental chew um, they're fantastic to keep them busy while you can then work so if you do at least those three things then I can guarantee your dog will be happy and healthy during these quarantine times. The big thing I'd say here is make sure you've got all the gear you need. So obviously you can get most of it delivered online, make sure it's going to be beds, make sure it's going to be obviously all the toys they could need, water bottles, drink bottles, etc. all those things. Um, but you also then want to make sure that you know, you're gradually letting that dog get used to you as well because it's a lot for them. So start them in just one area, slowly expand out across your house, um, try and get some regular routine, so feed them at the same time of the day, try and exercise in the same time, let them know where they can go to the bathroom. Um, if you start with some of those basics, then over time it'll get really great and I'm sure you'll have a wonderful job fostering them and potentially even keep them at the same time. My guidance here is that you want to have something almost like if you were going away on a holiday with your dog. So have your vet's phone number, have the telemedicine phone number, and then have some basic equipment that if they get a cut or they hurt themselves that you can tend to their needs. So gauzes, bandages, some simple antibiotic creams. That's pretty much the stock standard basics that I'd have. Um, and then if there's anything more severe, as I said, if they need medication, then I'd have that there as well. But in those cases, you'll be able to tend to any minor cuts or hurts. Um, and then anything serious, your vet will be able to advise you. And if you need something, you can always get that dropped off to home as well. The great thing about pets is that they truly help lift our spirits, reduce our stress, reduce our anxiety. And in a time like this, where all those things are really feeling heavy on our shoulders, you know, if 75% of us who have a pet say, you know what, my dog makes me just feel better, then that's a fantastic thing in itself. So, you know, if we have got a pet, fantastic. If you haven't, reach out to a shelter, see if you can get one. Um, and obviously it's a shelter adoption for life or a fostering, um, but the mood and the impact on stress and anxiety, even in the elderly, you know, 81% of them say that it makes them feel less lonely. So that's so important when we can't have that social interaction at the moment.